Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I am doing great. So, tonight, I wanted to talk about a prayer, prayer for divine protection. Prayer for divine protection. So, just kind of be thinking about that. I guess I'm stuck on prayer. I don't know. I'm very windblown looking and if uh, the wind doesn't go away then the ponytail is going to be the hairdo of the month because I went out today and I had a ponytail on had a ponytail in my hair not on <laughs> and uh, wow it was wild looking when I got inside I just went and brushed my hair a while ago it was wild looking too Okay, so, prayer for divine protection. Because we all need protection, and God is our, our protector. That is one thing that He is. It's called Jehovah Nisi. Um, I looked it up to see what the name of that was. And, um, I probably won't be talking anymore about that, but I just wanted to... I was trying to find a song that fit, so I did find a song that fit called Protector, and uh, after we pray, I think it's on here, you may have to refresh this, because that happens sometimes, yeah, it's got to be refreshed, bye bye camera, I hope that doesn't cover up my face when I do this. But I shared it to my page, but I didn't refresh it. Well, well my page is showing nothing. My internet is not um, acting real well. It's not real well behaved. Okay, there it is. Protector. By Kim Walker Smith. Such a good song. I uh, hurriedly wrote something about this. Um, and then um, I found the scripture Isaiah 54 17. I felt like that fit, so I found me a picture for that. Alright. It's kind of been an action packed day for me, but uh, it's all good. Alright, well, let's pray. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God, that you are our protector. You are our creator, you are our protector, our provider, our um, sustainer. You are our shelter in the storm, God. You hide us under your wings. God, we just thank you because you are the great Jehovah. You are the great I Am. You are from everlasting to everlasting and you are our everlasting Father. God, you are mighty and powerful and magnificent, but yet you are kind and loving and compassionate, long-suffering towards our sinfulness and forgiving and full of grace, God. You keep your promises, and every one of your prophecies will be fulfilled. God, thank you for calling us as your children. Thank you for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. God, we just pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open up their eyes and open up their ears to the truth, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so that they could be saved. God, we pray for the prodigals to return. God, we also pray for all the disasters that are happening all over the world, God. The wars and the rumors of wars, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, everything God the flooding the bad storms God the fires we just pray God that you would meet those people's needs whatever their needs are God that someone would be the hands and feet of Jesus to meet their needs 
We also pray for all the people that have lost loved ones, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them. And we just pray that they would seek your presence every day. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends. Oh, my nose itches. Um, it was so windy out there, and all that stuff is just blowing around. It's um, <sighs> allergy season again. It seems like allergy season for me has never gone away this time. Usually I have a little bit of a break where I don't have to deal with anything, but I think it has been so windy, and it has just been so... I don't know. I think we got a big dose of allergies last year and this year too. Okay, so this is the song that I shared. It's called Protector. And uh, if you get a chance, go listen to it. It's a really good song. So I heard this song and message one morning and I never really got back to listen to it until today. I just heard a portion of it one day. I was looking for something else and I go, well, maybe this is, you know, will fit what I want to talk about but it didn't so I love the lyrics of this song by Kim Walker Smith I love her voice it is so amazing she does have an amazing voice protector it is so awesome to have a protector that is sovereign over all things there is no weapon that is formed against us that will prosper God gives us divine protection every day he wants us to fully rely on him to protect us he has a plan and purpose for all the people that he has created in order for him to be able to fulfill our plan and purpose we must accept jesus as our savior and walk in his ways allow him to protect us even when it doesn't make sense and sometimes it does not sometimes when we are being protected by god it doesn't make any sense like um like for instance last is that last year that yeah, was last year really straddled the very end of 2019 and last year I was supposed to go to Georgia and um, volunteer for passion 2021 and at the last minute I got sick and I mean really sick, even sicker than I was with COVID. I was so sick, I could not quit sneezing, I could not quit blowing my nose, could not quit coughing, I was running a fever. It was just really, really bad. And so I kept, I mean my bags were packed, I was ready to go, I had my airplane ticket, I even had a ride to the airport. My sweet friend Janet was going to take me to the airport. We're going to have to get up really, really early. But I just, I couldn't get well. And so I asked God, I said, God, I thought this is what you wanted me to do. I thought this is where you wanted me to go. I thought this was your plan. And he said, I'm protecting you. And I go... Okay, I mean, who am I to say, well, can you protect me from something else? Because, you know, for all I know, he was protecting me from COVID. Because that was before the COVID outbreak. And there were 65,000 people there at uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. But some of my friends, some of the people that I served with in 2019 got to go. And it just, it made me really sad. But, you know, a lot of times we don't understand his protection, but I'm, I'm thankful that I could have gone and something bad could have happened to me. You know, I could have gotten COVID, I could have gotten um, mugged, I could have gotten, you know, there's so many things that could have happened my plane could have crashed you know all kinds of things that God protects us from every day and um, I just God wanted me to share that with you anyway it broke my heart that I couldn't do that but um, 
he told me many times, he said, I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. And so I believe that he did protect me. And I might not ever know how or why, but I have to trust him. So in order for him to be able to fulfill our plan and purpose, we must accept Jesus as our Savior and walk in his ways. Allow him to protect us even when it doesn't make sense. And sometimes it does not. He will never leave or forsake us. We need to walk in obedience and seek the kingdom of God first each day. We have to fully trust him with all that we have. Is Jesus your savior today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Do not wait. Choose now. If you have strayed away from Jesus, repent and return. He is waiting where you left him. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back the one true, to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. So that's, I was just thinking about this divine protection that God protects us with and sometimes we pray for that protection sometimes we're in a place where we don't feel very secure and we are praying for protection i know not too long ago we had a bad storm in the middle of the night and i was praying for protection i think i had a hair stuck to my eye probably from today with all the wind but i think i finally got it i have I have a fan behind me today and a fan in front of me because it is really hot in my house and I guess I'm going to have to sooner or later turn the air conditioner on. Just afraid. You know, I'm always afraid when I turn it back on after it being off during the winter that maybe there's going to be something wrong with it and then we're going to have to get it repaired. Usually though, I just turn it on and it's fine. but. There's just that little bit of a doubt, you know. Are we going to have to spend money to get it repaired? I don't know. Okay, so. Let us get into some scripture. And let us, I can, I want to show you something. Like, I don't have any colored ink, so you can barely see where the scriptures are. There's kind of an imprint but anyway, we're going to do the best we can with what we've got. Okay. So in Isaiah 54, 17, and I forgot to get my other Bible. So I've got this one that's really, it's very delicate because it's so old. I like it, but it's super delicate and I can't just flip through it as fast as I can my other one. Okay. So this is what Isaiah 54 17 says. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me saith the Lord. So there will be no weapon formed against us that shall prosper because God will protect us and no tongue that shall rise against us in judgment that shall condemn us. This is the heritage. This is our heritage. This is he will protect us. He will protect us from weapons and he will protect us from people saying things about us that's not true or um, forming their own judgment against us. So I think I'm just going to go down um, and be flipping back and forth, but Psalms 91, 1 through 16. I like Psalms 91. It is a good one. People say that it is the 911. If you need help, 
read Psalms 91 and it says 1 through 16 so we're going to read all of it and I read this one not too long ago and it is really good he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him will I trust surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noon a thousand shall fall on the, at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling we need to pray that because that disease that COVID disease is a plague um I lost my place I'm so sorry hmm okay for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder and the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet because he hath set his love upon me therefore will I deliver him I will set him on high because he hath known my name he shall call upon me and I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him and honor him with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation so God is he is gonna protect us with his angels under his wing he will protect us he will give us power to tread upon the lion and the adder and the and the young lion and the dragon he will give us his power and he will hide us he is our refuge and our fortress he will hide us from our enemy and he will protect us from pestilence that is that is so good I love that scripture I could just stop there but let's move on to Jude 1 24 through 25 I know that Jude is right before Revelation Jude 1 24 through 25 says now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. So he will keep us from falling and he presents us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy that's pretty awesome so let's read back to Isaiah 40 28 31 we seem to be going backwards I'm not going to complain because it saves me a lot of time to be able to just print off a subject of scriptures a lot of time <laughs> a whole whole lot of time okay so I'm not going to complain. 28 through 31, Isaiah 40, 28 
28 through 31 hast thou not known hast thou not heard that the everlasting God the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth fainteth not neither is weary there is no searching of his understanding he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might he increases strength even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fail but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings of eagles as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint so he gives us what we need to actually overcome he gives us what we need to overcome and we will through Jesus we will be victorious we will be victorious he will protect us we will reign victorious with Jesus okay 26 Isaiah 26 3 through 4 Oh, this is so hard. Okay. 26, 3 through 4. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high, the lofty city. He layeth it low, he layeth it low even to the ground he bringeth it even to the dust the foot shall tread it down even the feet of the poor in the steps of the needy the way of the just is uprightness thou most upright doth weigh the path of the just yea in the way of thy judgments o lord have we waited for thee the desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee So he will keep us in perfect peace if we keep our mind on him and if we trust him. And he will, he has everlasting strength and he will bring down the unrighteous. We just have to wait for his perfect timing to bring down the unrighteous and know that he is in control and know that um, can't get my shirt and my necklace to that's annoying I think my neck is like uneven I think I've decided that my neck is just uneven or every t-shirt that I have is like that okay Psalms 18 1 through 6 let's see what that says well I went the wrong way Psalms 18, 1 through 6. My daily verse today was very good too. I can't remember what it was. I may remember in a minute though. I think it had some of these verses in it. What was it about? Okay, well let's read Psalm 18, 1 through 6. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation in my high, high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. I'm looking to see where I'm supposed to stop. Then the earth shook and trembled, and the foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth 
There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. Devoured coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. I believe that's talking about God's judgment. Let me see. It doesn't say. I think it's talking about maybe how. Okay, that was King David. That was written by King David. So that was about how God took care of his enemies. Because he will protect us from our enemies. He will. Let me make sure that wasn't on that. Okay, so let's go to Psalm 23. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite. And let's read it because it is a very good, and it is about protection too. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. I used to have this memorized, but I don't anymore. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Whew, I love that. I love that. So let's see what else we want to read from here. You read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's choose one more. Let's read one, uh, Psalms 121, 1 through 8. I really like that one too. Oops. I am just tearing my poor little old Bible. I need to be careful with it. Poor little old Bible. It's been a good Bible. Because it's, it's pretty old. It's um, 1963 edition of King James. Okay. Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Hmm. I love Psalms. I could just stay in Psalms and just read and read and read because I love it. Okay, so I, there's really some more good verses here. So I'm thinking about maybe on Thursday doing some more of this my pen quit writing so 
because there's still some more that are really good about protection. Um, even about God sending his, an his angels to protect us. Um, where is the one that I read about? I don't know. I don't know where that was. Something about if we dash our foot, the angels will... Maybe we already read that. Hmm. I don't know. Alright. Anyway, he sends his angels to protect us too. Okay, well I forgot to put over here my notebook, which is over there. And I need a drink of water anyway, so I'm going to get a drink of water. And I'm going to walk over there and get that notebook and come right back. And I am sweating. <laughs> I'm thinking about turning my air on. Of course, part of my problem is I have this blanket behind me. I think I'm going to take it off today. I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, that's a little bit better. Sitting on a blanket when it's hot is not too great. Okay, so this is what God and I talked about today. We really didn't talk for long. And uh, it's like my fault. I needed to go and teach my son. So. And so, good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, of new opportunities to share my truths, and the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, child, of my creation. This is the time that all of my creation comes back to life. It was beautiful today. I don't like the pollen from the flowers and the trees, but they were beautiful today. Thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths, in the gospel of Jesus, a new beautiful day of your creation. Thank you for all of my blessings, God. Please put your angels around my loved ones during this time. Please protect us against evil. Um, he said, Jesus lives, child, and will conquer all. The evil that you see around you today and forever, my protection is secure for all that ask for it. I have legions of angels for protection for my children. If you only knew how my protection works through prayer, you can't see what surrounds you and what is going on in the very room that you are in. The spiritual battle taking place right now in your house. I shield my children from the war that surrounds them. And I said, God, thank you for your protection. I protected you yesterday. It was not the day for you to go, and that is why you felt the way you did. Today you feel better. Today is the day to go. Always listen to the Holy Spirit. Stay close and Listen to his voice for discernment. Stay close to Jesus, child. All of what you see going on and all of what you hear is truth and lies. Pray for discernment for the truth only and let the lies go. The truth in the situation you're concerned about is all going to come out. There will be my favor for it. There will be my favor. It is time. And I said, thank you, God, for the encouragement about this. Thank you for meeting me today. I will listen to the Holy Spirit and walk close to Jesus. And I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me in all I ask. All will work out according to my plans and purposes. 
Do not be concerned, but keep sharing my truths in the gospel of Jesus. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready. All is coming to an end soon, child. Be ready, be strong and courageous until the end. All are waiting for the return of all of my children. It will be so glorious to see you all again, child. And I said, Maranatha, God. Because I'm ready for Jesus to come at any time. Because this place is getting pretty crazy every day. So let's do um, Steps to Peace with God tonight. And this is a good news tract. This is not mine. I did do my own. This is mine that I did. This is not my picture. I got it off of Yahoo. But this is mine that I did. That God and I got inspired for me to do, to share. But this is not mine. This is um, goodnewstracks.org. Okay, so let's start with step one. Step one. God's purpose, peace, and eternal life. So this is what God wants for us, is peace and eternal life. God loves you and he wants you to live in peace with him and to receive eternal life. Since God planned for us to be at peace with him and to have eternal life, why are many people not enjoying this experience? So this is what the Bible says. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Uh, John 3.16 But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6.23 So step two is our problem. Sin and, separ and separation. God did not make us robots to mindlessly love and obey him. Instead he gave us a will and a freedom of choice. But like Adam, we often choose to disobey God and go our own selfish ways. This side of our nature is called sin, and it separates us from God. The Bible says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, Romans 3.23 and 6.23. So after Adam sinned, the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden. Genesis 3.23 But your iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. Isaiah 59.2 Step 3. God's Remedy, the Cross Jesus Christ is the only answer to this problem of separation from God. He died on the cross and rose from the grave to pay the penalty for our sins completely bridging the gap between us and God. God has provided the only way and we must make the choice. I don't know who that is. Sorry about that. I don't know who that is. Um, the Bible says, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. Salvation is found in no one else, and there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Acts 4.12 For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2.5 Verily, verily, I tell you, whoever bears my word, Jesus, and believes him who sent me, has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. John 5, 24. So step four is our response. Receive Christ. We can receive Jesus Christ when we believe in his message and trust in him alone to save us. Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And that's John 14, 1. The Bible says all the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him 
Jesus Christ receives forgiveness of sins through his name, Acts 10.43. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, John 1.12. So this is a really neat little diagram. I don't know whether you can see it or not. I don't know, it's really weird. Well, I mean, it's not a weird diagram. It's just weird that I can't, <laughs> I can't make this to where people can read it on my YouTube videos, but you can read it on Facebook. Okay, well, it is what it is. Okay, on the people side, it says anxiety, sin, separation, and eternal torment. Are you here? And then, as you saw, Christ bridges the gap between people and God and it says God peace forgiveness relationship eternal life or here so where do you find yourself right now okay I thought there was a step five no okay so how to receive Christ admit your need I am a sinner Two, be willing to turn from your sins. Repent. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross and rose from the grave. Four, through prayer, invite Jesus Christ to come in and control your life through the Holy Spirit. Receive Him as your Savior. So this is what we pray. And this doesn't have to be what you pray. You can pray your own prayer. So let me say it to where you can repeat after me if you would like. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am sinful and I need your forgiveness. I believe that you died to pay the penalty for my sin. I want to turn away from my sin nature and follow you instead. I invite you to come into my heart and life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So God's assurance, His word. If you sincerely prayed this prayer and asked Jesus Christ to come into your life, do you know what he has given you? Your new life. When you receive Christ, you are born into God's family through the supernatural natural work of the Holy Spirit. Stop. Stop that. Who indwells every believer. This is called regeneration or new birth. God bless you as you begin your new life in Christ. The Bible says everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10:13. Neither height nor depth nor anything in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8:39. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 5, 1. He who has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. 1 John 5, 12-13. Okay, so if you prayed that prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing, and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Um, in order to have a closer relationship with God, then read His Word. Read His Word, and pray. and praise. I've been forgetting my music every time. Uh, the phone is being charged that I use. And so here's my deal. 
I even have wireless earbuds now that I got myself for my birthday, but they are in the living room. Might be attitudes, just don't want to stand up. I'm going to put them there. Okay, so I'm going to do God's blessing in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. And I'm the only parent here, so my son is sitting here making his froggy noise. Alright, so this is what God says. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Alright. Well, I think that I did everything that God asked me to do tonight. So think about think about praying for that divine protection. Think of all the times that you had planned to do something and God said no. And think that maybe that was protection. That God is protecting us all the time. All the time his hand of protection is upon us. And so I am going to go ahead and pray and I'm going to get off of here. My friend Josie didn't come tonight either. I will not be here tomorrow night because it is youth and we have started youth back up. And so I will be at youth uh, doing music and learning more about Jesus with our youth. Uh, please be in prayer for them. We like took three months off and I think it was probably pretty hard on them because they like to see their friends outside of school and so and they like to learn about Jesus they really have some good answers okay so let's go ahead and pray God thank you for this time God help us to walk in your ways help us to realize that you are protecting us even though sometimes it's not something we want to be protected from God that your hand of protection is always on us that you will send your angels to protect us and that you will order our steps, God, in order to fulfill your plan and your purpose for us. God, we just praise you and we thank you for all the many blessings that you give us. We pray for protection. We pray for provision. We pray for blessings, God. During this really hard time, this uncertain time, God, that we find ourselves living in, I know that we were created for such a time as this, God, but please give us strength so we can walk closer and closer to Jesus and we can just stay right behind Him and um, just be behind Him as He leads the way. God, we just pray that You would help us to be more in Your presence that you would help us to testify more of the things that you do and to encourage others also, God. And God, we just pray. I pray for Josie and her family, God, her entire family. I just pray for protections and blessings and protection for Hugo and his family and for Mr. Mike and the boys, God. We just pray that you would just also protect them, God. We just pray that you would protect my family too. Thank you for today. Thank you for a wonderful day, God, for provisions of food, for provisions of time, God. We just um, pray that you will help us to be strong and courageous as we move forward, that you would lift up many, a, a huge powerful army of truth tellers and truth seekers God during this time and that God you would just help us to have the strength to do what we need to do and in Jesus name we pray Amen alright Amen I hope I did not forget anything um, if there's any scripture that you think fits with divine protection then please put it in the comments I do go and check the comments periodically I do not check them every day because I just don't have time 
Sometimes I'm in here throwing everything together in the last 30 minutes of the night. But anyway, um, anything that you want to share in the comments. If you have a prayer request, please put it in the comments. This is the only way that I can get that back and forth um, communication. I am going to look at some more websites, like there are other websites. I don't know if they do live streaming though. I would really like to live stream on YouTube, but they won't let me for some reason. I have to upload my video when I get done. Um, I don't know. I've tried. I, I used to be able to when I first started this. I could live stream on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. It sure was a whole lot more convenient. I'm going to look for another avenue. Um, in addition to doing this video, I'm going to see if I can also do something on a platform at the same time. We'll see. I don't know how that's going to work. I'm using the camera for this, so I don't know. We'll just see. But I know that God does want me to expand my ministry. And I had gotten on Gab, and I was uploading things on Gab, but... I have a hard time wanting to be on social media all the time. I kind of just want to get on and get off. And my hair is just, I've got wind going in here too. All right, well, I am going to get off of here. Uh, much love. Much love. Have an awesome rest of your evening and an awesome tomorrow. Much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Ow. I got a piece of hair that was itching my ear. And good night. Sorry.